Hello and welcome. This presentation shows a demonstration of the features to stop and delete a Kubernetes cluster. Then start a new cluster on the Oracle Private Cloud at Customer. See the presentation titled About Kubernetes as a Service for Oracle Private Cloud at Customer for more information about related features. In this session, I'm logged in as the customer user and currently displaying the list of Kubernetes clusters configured in the zone this account manages. Click on the name of the cluster SM-DHCP-318 to see the cluster details. There are three nodes on the master nodes list. There are four nodes on the worker nodes list. The node with the name ending with nodes-3 was added through a scale-up event from the node pool with the name ending with 318-nodes. Go back to the cluster list and select the record for the cluster SM-DHCP-318. Navigate through the action menu and click Stop Kubernetes Cluster. After the confirmation appears, click Stop. The cluster list returns with a confirmation message. Dismiss the message. Note the cluster state still shows available. The stop operation not only stops the cluster, but removes all the virtual machines and virtual disks from the environment. This view of the Oracle VM Manager running in this appliance shows some of what happens with this look at the VM with the name ending with Worker-2. The VM is killed, its VNIX deleted, virtual disk detached and deleted, then the VM itself is deleted. None of the applications deployed are kept. Return to the cluster list and after several minutes refresh the display. The cluster state configured appears after the cluster has been completely stopped and removed. Return to the cluster details page and see that the additional node and its node pool are no longer part of the cluster. Return to the cluster list and select the cluster SM-DHCP-318. Navigate through the Action menu and click Start Kubernetes Cluster. When the confirmation page appears, click Start. The cluster list returns with a confirmation message that the job has started. Remove the confirmation message. This view of the Oracle VM Manager shows you a brief look at the start process that includes the node with the name ending with master-2. The VM is created, VNICs are created, the VM is modified, then started, and then more messages to complete the configuration of this node. Return to the cluster list and refresh the page after a long wait. Depending on workloads, the operation to start the cluster can run between 40 minutes and an hour or more to completion. After completion, the cluster state returns to available. Another look at the cluster details and the additional node and node pool were not restored or started. In this presentation, you have seen how to stop and start a Kubernetes cluster. You have also seen that stopping the cluster causes the cluster resources, such as VMs and virtual disks, to be deleted from the configuration. This ends the presentation. Thank you for watching.